Oh my god, I swear to god, I just seen that brush. There she is, girl. There she is, child. She's coming alive. What's going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here welcome and if you guys haven't already you guys definitely have to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button right there right in the corner so you can watch my newest and latest videos that I do just for you guys each and every week and today I wanted to do something just very glad mind you it started off just doing a regular like you know makeup look something very dewy glowy and maybe even bronze but I don't know about you guys, but once you guys start doing something and you guys are just in the zone, you guys end up going from natural to like ultra glam in literally 5.6 seconds. Literally, this is what happened to me today. Um, I'm actually going to dinner right now, so I literally have to just go get changed and head out the door. But I did want to film this makeup look right here for you guys. Um, if you guys do like this look, give this video a thumbs up because it would help my channel out so much. And obviously, this is perfect for any date night out, Valentine's Day, Christmas party, New Year's, birthday event, just anything that you just want an ultra glam look. So if you guys want to know how to create this look, definitely please keep on watching, you guys looking like a whole bundle of testosterone okay you guys don't mind me i literally just woke up from a nap and i am kind of running a little bit late for a date tonight so i'm gonna try to do something very quick fast easy and of course glam and if you guys see me wear this before literally don't mind it this is my like around the house robe thing chiffon thingy majiggy so yeah pay that no mind first thing i'm going to take is the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation and this is in shade 108 caramel beige and i'm just going to dot this all over my face and if you guys don't know um, i like to use my fingers but you guys are more than welcome to use a brush or a beauty blender but i definitely like to use my fingers for application because i just feel like my fingertips and the warmth of them it just melts it right into my skin but you know, makeup is personal preference. It's whatever you like, to be honest. Okay, next we're gonna take the Kevin Aquan Natural, Super Natural Concealer in the shade Light EC02. And I like to put that right underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on top of my cupid's bow, and on my chin, and like on the sides of my mouth because I don't know, for some reason, I just have like dark areas right there, which are so annoying. Next, we're gonna take the Morphe M439 brush. And we're just going to blend that concealer right into our foundation, making sure you have no harsh lines and everything is flawlessly blended out. So my dog decides to eat while I'm filming. That's so great, huh? Ace? Thank you. Thank you for thank you for trying to eat right when I'm filming. How about that? And then quickly setting that with the Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder, and we're just going to oof. Yeah, but I definitely don't like to use a lot of powder lately. For some reason, I don't know why. It just makes my foundation and my concealer look better. I feel like it doesn't look as cakey. You know what I'm saying? Well, not that my makeup looks cakey. It just, I just feel like it doesn't look cakey. I mean, by all means, if you guys want to use a whole bunch of um, powder just to um, set your foundation and concealer to make you feel better and just to make sure you, you keep your oils at bay, by all means, go ahead and do that. But Lately, this is what I've been doing, and don't get me wrong, I do go back and I use a lot of powder sometimes, but honestly, I'm just really going to dinner, nothing too crazy, nothing too harsh. Okay, now that we're done setting everything, we're going to take the Morphe 9BZ Bronzing Palette and a Real Technique Powder Brush, and we're just going to take these two colors right here in the palette, and we're just going to bronze our face just a little bit, just to give us a little color. Today, I'm not going to really do a whole harsh contour. I mean... I probably start off like that but then i don't know by the end of the tutorial I might be like fully contoured but we're just gonna go on um our cheekbones just to make them pop on the sides of our forehead if you guys want to shrink down that forehead of yours because i definitely have to shrink mine's down because i kind of have like a nine head <laughs> and just to slim down that jaw because yeah i don't want for people to see my other four chins you know and just brush that down as well. You don't want no harsh lines. Okay, you guys, now time to snatch our nose and make Latoya Jackson so jealous. We're going to take um, that same contour shade and just go down the sides of our nose. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a Morphe R35 blending brush. Okay, so now that our nose is snatched, we are going to move on to our highlight. And the highlight we're going to take 
today i'm just going to use something that's literally right here on my makeup desk we are going to pull out the i guess the jeffree star um king tut highlighter and we're going to use a morphe m501 brush and we're going to place that right on the apples of our cheeks and our cheekbone and kind of brushing that up it's gorgeous and on our brow bone and a little bit on our forehead on our cupid's bow and also down at the bridge of our nose as well and you might as well just hit that inner tear duct because this is such a pretty highlight shade and it's gonna go with our makeup look that i feel like doing it's gonna be very i just want to do like reds let's do like a red smoky eye you guys how about that Okay, so now that we're done with our highlight, we're going to move on to our blush and we're going to take a um, Real Technique blush brush and which blush do I have right here? Let's just do, um, let's just do the first thing I've seen was um, MAC Pe Peachy Keen. I'm trying to do this in a rush, you guys, because I'm kind of running late for a dinner I have to go to. So let's pray that I make it on time because I need to get better with my timing and getting to stuff on time. So um, yeah, so now I'm gonna do my brows off of camera, so I'll be right back, you guys. And bam, so the eyebrows are done, and the first thing I'm gonna do is start on the eyeshadows, and of course, if you want like a cranberry red smoky eye, we're gonna have to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Modern Renaissance palette, which is literally uh, one of my favorite palettes of all time. Literally, it's the top three. And we're gonna take a Morphe Fluffy Blending Brush, and we're gonna take the burnt orange color right here in the palette, and put that right into our crease. Let's see how fast I can do this eye makeup look because on the looks of it, I don't have a lot of time to do anything. Excuse me. So they decided to like literally have a herd of cattle walking upstairs, like literally makes no sense. Okay, so now let's darken the crease. I'm going to take a Morphe R35 blending brush and we're going to take the color Real Girl, which is this color right here in the palette, and we're going to put that right into our crease. And then taking that same color and same brush, we're going to put that right underneath our lower lash line and really smoking that out. And if you guys don't have an ugly face when you're doing your lower lash line and your mascara chances are your makeup is going to be horrible <laughs> just saying let's deepen this up just a little bit more and we're going to take the same brush and let's take love letter in the palette and put that right into our crease as well and even kind of like putting that right onto our lid so you can just deepen up this whole look <laughs> Also taking that same color and same brush and really just smoking that bottom lower lash line out as well. Now time for our lid color and I kind of want to keep it in the red family. I don't want to add like a lighter color. I kind of want to deepen the red smoky eye look just a little bit more. So we're just going to take Venetian Red and a uh, Morphe M333 brush and really pack that onto the lid. And these are all just matte colors and I like to keep it like that because I think I'm gonna add a glitter cut crease. I don't know. I'm debating if I should do that or not. Now time to wipe off all that fallout that we have. Okay, so now let's just intensify this look just a little bit more. I keep on intensifying, intensifying. Mind you, it's supposed to be a natural, like, smoky eye, but it kind of became intense a little bit. So um, we're going to take the L'Oreal Carbon Black Pencil Perfect Eyeliner, and we're just going to... I'm always going to blow on this. And we're just going to um, put that right into our lower waterline. Oh Lord, please don't let my eyes start watering. That's the worst thing ever. And then we're just gonna set that right on top of that. We're gonna go into Cypress Umber and a Morphe Flap Shader Brush. Okay, you guys, you guys are more than welcome to literally stop right here and just apply some lashes. 
but for some reason I kind of want to up this look up just a little bit and I'm just going to apply Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and create a cut crease so you know like I said you guys are more than welcome to stop right here but I definitely want to just give this more of a glam look so when you're looking at me you're just gonna be like wow you know Okay, you guys, so now that we're done with our glitter liner, we are going to move on to our lashes. And the lashes we're going to take are from Slay Lashes in the style Goddess. And you guys can use my discount code Valerie with the Y so you guys can save money off your purchase. And I'm going to do this off of camera, so I'm going to be right back, you guys. Okay, so now that we're done with our eyes and our face, we're gonna move on to our lips and the color we're going to take. Mind you, you guys can do a nude color, but I'm definitely gonna go very bold and very, very glam. So let's take Too Faced Melt Matte Lipstick in the shade Deep Dead Red. And voila, this is the finished makeup look right here. I hope you guys will love this red, cranberry, smoky, sexy, sultry makeup look that I got going on. This is, like I said, is good for any date night, Valentine's Day, birthday, holiday party, Christmas, New Year's, special event, anything that you just wanna walk into the scene and just slay it definitely do this look right here and if you guys do like this look give this video a thumbs up because i would so appreciate it and obviously leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think or if you guys want me to do a makeup look let me know in the comment section below and obviously if you guys aren't already you guys have to subscribe to my channel what are you guys waiting for you guys have to hit, hit the subscribe button right there right in the corner so you can watch my newest and latest videos that i do just for you guys each and every week and you guys can hit me up on my social medias which is my instagram snapchat and twitter and that is all valerie with the y underscore vision and my facebook is valerie medina and you guys remember it is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one you guys Mwah.